Our next speaker has numerous awards for her work, locally, state, and nationwide. National Association of School Resource Officers. <laughs> Presented by the Palmer Elks Lodge, as well as a life-saving award for valor. Please welcome my mentor and friend, Donna Anthony. All right, thank you, thank you. I am broken. I sound like a great hero there, but I am broken. This is why I travel and try to make money now. Thank you, Alaska. This is great. I'm so glad to see everybody here. So thank you for coming out today in support of our Second Amendment right. And to show our opposition that we are united in front to protect our rights to keep and bear arms here. We, the American gun owners, are under attack with well-funded groups who believe that their feelings are more important than our constitutional rights. I'm here to tell you, their feelings do not trump our rights, okay? At every corner in every state, there's a strong anti-legislation threatening to take away our God-given right to self-defense. We're seeing this, right? We've seen this in Virginia. It's coming. Groups like Every Town for Gun Safety and their subgroups, Moms Demand Actions, are ready to invade Alaska and make a push for gun control. Alaskans, are you gonna let that happen here? No! Are you gonna let that happen here? No! They're coming. They're here helping with SB 62. If you have not looked at that, they are pushing the agenda. This is why I flew back yesterday to make sure that we make a stand, okay? 80% of Alaskan owners basically own guns for hunting and self-protection in our state. We are a gun state, right? Out here, we, our state, is very vast. Alaska is a large, the largest state. Police are more than minutes away. And I'm gonna say this again, I'm retired law enforcement. Police are minutes away, we're in the valley. So if you decide to call 911, the police ferry is not gonna just show up, okay? It can be what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe an hour. If you live in Talkeetna, how much longer will that be? So we have to be ready to, be, to, res to respond to any situation. In order to protect ourselves and our families, Alaska, we're so unique, right? We are the last frontier, and they're coming to our state. I'm not done yet. Staying on task. That's why I did notes. I have met people all around the globe that come up to me and say, you are so lucky for the Second Amendment in America. We're at the mercy of their, they're at the mercy of their government when they come and take their arms. Last month, I was in Homer. I actually stopped at the college there. There was a young man who did a video for his country, Takistan. I was, didn't know anything about Takistan, but I learned a lot. And in his video, he talks about how the government, the military, have taken their guns away for self-protection and hunting. So when they did this video, they're now training their dogs to go out hunting with them so they can try to get food on the table. Well, now. The wolf control is out of control. They can't shoot the animals. They have no guns because the government's taken it. So the wolves are attacking their dogs. Think about that. A military taking your guns away for self-protection and hunting. Look what's happening in that country and what could happen here if we don't stop it. So you think about it. We are so lucky to have the Second Amendment. I don't call it luck. I call it proper planning by our forefathers. They never wanted American people to live through what they did under a tyrannical government. It seems though, many of our freedoms are being whittled away, little by little. A great danger is that so many of us don't notice. Right, are we seeing that? Are we okay with a small change here and there? A new law there, under the guise of keeping us nice and safe, right? All the while, our fundamental liberties are being stripped and unfortunately, our society accepts these changes. You guys have to get out and speak. Why? Because it happens incrementally. Well, I'm here to tell you, we do notice this. We're here now, we're noticing it. We will not simply accept this anymore. Rights are inherited to the conditions of being human. The Second Amendment didn't create the right to keep and bear arms. It acknowledged the right that was already assumed and accepted by our forefathers. Nobody in government gave us that right, and nobody in government can take that right away. Amen? Amen. Amen. As law-abiding gun owners, we are responsible with our firearms. No law is going to stop a criminal. As by the very definition of criminal, they don't follow the laws. 
Stand by. <laughs> All right. More laws will not make us safer. They don't now. Murder is illegal, but it happens every day. Disarming people does not make us safer. Do we get this? Do we understand that? Okay. Criminals do not follow laws. What? I know. Don't get me started. <laughs> Try to stay on the task here. I'm about to go off task. All right. Now, all they do is blame guns. Blame guns. Never do they hold the criminals accountable. Remember that whole hug a thug program, SB 91? Do you guys like SB 91? No. All right, staying on task. <laughs> Don't get a little rude here. Here I go. No one blames the penis for rape. No one blames the car for DUI fatalities. No one blames the bomb for bombing. Nope. In those instances, the criminal was blamed, right? Why now is the why now is the movement blaming just the guns? It makes no sense. There's a deeper intent here, folks. This isn't about guns. It's about control. Socialism? Maybe? What's that? Alright. And if you want these antis to control you, then do nothing. If you want to have control over your own life and safety, then speak up, be heard, loud and clear. This is why we're here today. We want criminal control, not gun control. I'm going to say this one more time. We want criminal control, not gun control. Okay. I'm asking every gun owner for a pledge in the gun vote. Know where your representatives stand on gun performance. Write them, call them, visit their offices. They love that. Go visit them. <laughs> Stay on test. Let them know you will not tolerate any infringements on your rights to bear arms and ask them not to entertain any legislation that will replace, that will place you and your family at risk by restricting your gun rights. Together, we can educate. We are missing education. That's why we're in this position. We lost the education in our schools about guns are safe, right? If you know how to use them. So we need to re-educate. We need to re-educate our lawmakers on the responsibilities of upholding freedom as directed. Stand by. I'm almost done. <laughs> All right. This is my favorite part coming up here. Women. Women are rocking the gun vote. All right, the number of women gun owners have been increasing over the last five years. Have you guys noticed that? Yes. <clears throat> Who here are women gun owners? I want to hear you. We're not women gun owners. Nice, nice. Well, ladies, thank you for stepping up and being your own self-protector. If anyone has ever said they are for women's rights, then they sure as heck better be for gun rights. Because gun rights are women rights. Yeah, yes. Who would be bold enough to tell a woman she can't defend herself against being raped? Good luck with that with me. Okay. Who would be bold enough to tell a woman she should protect herself against domestic violence? Or if a suspect breaks into their home while their husband's overseas serving in the military? Do we have military up here in there? Do we have military here? Do I have military? Military overseas, thank you for your service. A lot of you guys go overseas, wives are staying home, take care of the kids, or vice versa now, right? We can't let this happen in Alaska. We won't let this happen in Alaska. We have many 2A organizations out there fighting for us, but we're up against a giant form of cash-backed antis. One word, Bloomberg. Have you heard that? Get involved, be heard, vote. Keep Alaska free under the Second Amendment and let these groups know they are not welcome in our state. Amen? Yeah! Alaska, we are 2A proud. I am born and raised here. This is a gun state. I hate the way we are going. We shouldn't even have to be here. Right. Stay on task. All right. I am going to give you a little speech and hopefully you guys know this with me. If you know it, say it with me. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of our free state. The right of the people to keep and bear arms 
shall not be infringed. What small little thing. <laughs> so, I have a video. The We were just in uh, Vegas last week for SHOT Show. Have you guys heard of SHOT Show? Yeah. It's like a Disneyland with a bunch of guns. Okay. <laughs> so, we were there with the NRA. NRA did some filming with a bunch of ladies. And uh, Kelly Pigeon from Pittsburgh sent me the video two days ago. They want me to play it for you guys. The weather's not good. I will put it, I own Point Blank, but I'll put it on the Point Blank page. Please watch the video. It's empower ladies. Get out there and vote and support what our movement is here. If we don't come out and vote, we're going to lose our rights. Not just a second. We'll lose them all. Right? All right. God bless each and every one of you. And thank you guys for coming out here. Thank you for everyone who put this together. Okie dokie. And thank you. <laughs>